everybody welcome back to my channel oh god i haven't done this in a while um today i'm going to be talking about my acne i've had lots of requests to talk about it and um, every single time i've went to do this video i just kept putting it off and putting it off i hate talking about my acne like it's just i'm just so self-conscious with my face and because my skin was so bad but i'm starting to be a little bit comfortable now with my skin that it's all starting to clear up Oh, I've had a lot of males just asking about what treatment I'm on, what's my skincare routine, everything like that. So I'm going to start off from um, when I did start getting acne. It was about two years ago, I, my whole skin just flared up. And I always get acne so bad around, like from here to like here, just downwards. So all around my jaw and everything, my mouth. And... I flared up so I went to the doctors. He wanted me to go to a, a dermatologist to go on my Wacatan. And like my mom was like, no, I don't really want to go on that because the side effects. We've heard lots of bad things about the side effects. I kind of didn't really want to chance it. So they put me on a mini light pill and um, hoping that would kind of clear my skin. Didn't do anything. It literally just went, made me go mad. Like, because I already had the bar in. And then with the pill, both of them mixing their hormones were all over the place. So I stopped taking that and like I just thought, oh, I'm never going to get a better anything like that. And then I was just scrolling through the internet because I kept searching up so many things about acne and how to clear it, clear it. And then I found Therapy Clinic. So I went over to Therapy Clinic in Molesworth Street. You just literally make an appointment for a consultation and it is free. So when I went over there, um, I forget the girl I was speaking to now, but she recommended me to do peels and all of my skincare that I need. So then I started getting the chemical peels off therapy. Um, basically, it's a peel um, it goes onto your skin now it's hot, so burnt. A little bit of burnt your skin um, and then it starts to peel for the next few days. It kind of stinks. But what that does, it's like it's killing all the bacteria in your skin. So it's going to get rid of all the spots. Now, I think this cost me probably like, it was either three to 400 for like three sessions. It is quite expensive. And um, now at the time, therapy allowed me to pay per session. So if it was like 400 for say like three, they allowed me to pay either like 200 on one session or 100 on a session. Just because if I didn't have the money to give it all up front. So I think at the time I only needed like four or three chemical pills and then I went straight onto the microneedling. Now the microneedling is like 12 tiny little needles and they, that, they jab into your skin. So basically what it is, is to get rid of all your scarring. And with that, um, the needle, oh my God, it is so, so painful. Like, oh my, your forehead, my forehead killed me the most and my cheeks kind of hit bony parts hurt the most and um, that's where it kind of hurts me little like the fat parts of your face don't hurt at all i find them all right like i have to get a little stress ball and all because it does hurt me that much but like it is worth it so kind of just stick to pain i think it goes on for probably about nearly 50 minutes but that's including like your normal cream that gets put on you that's left on you for like nearly five to ten minutes then you get the micro needling done you are literally raw i'm gonna include a uh, videos and photos of army acne throughout the whole time but so you have big circle white eyes and your whole face is just red like oh and it lasts like that i think for like the whole day and then that night it kind of dies down a little bit now the girl does give you um a serum so you just use that serum uh for like the next 24 to 48 hours once then it kind of dies down you can go back using all your skincare routine um, you're not allowed to wear makeup for 24 to 48 hours, you're not allowed to do the gym, anything like that. Oh, it's a nightmare, but it is so worth it. Um, the micro needling now does cost uh, 200 per session or 400 for three sessions. Now, I would recommend if you can afford it to get the four sessions for the, no, sorry, three sessions for 400 euro because you are saving 200 euro in the long run. And um, you get the micro needling done every month. Whereas the chemical pills, you're kind of getting done every two to three weeks. That's because you're not allowed to get the micro needling done if you have active acne. You need to make sure your skin is clear with no acne whatsoever to be able to get the micro needling done. So 
I only had like three, this is you know, two years ago, I only had like three chemical pills and two microneedling sessions and my skin was amazing, it cleared up so well. I was using all my therapy products still like, and then I stopped going, because my skin cleared up, I was thinking I'm grand. And then it was around my 24th, um, like the month after my party, I literally, my whole skin, I started getting a few spots here. I like say about five or six and then it's just gone spreading, spreading, spreading. It came all right up lumps everywhere. And I just couldn't. I was literally so uh, tempted to go on Rowacca 10. And I was like, no, I'm going to just go back to therapy, see what they say. I went towards therapy. The girl now, uh, that's my skin specialist, is Fiona. She's amazing. Like, I'd go over and ask for her if I was any use that I was going over for a consultation. So basically, I had to get then. Um, I went over, I think it was like in August time. So when I went over, I had to get like six chemical pills, like this round. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. From August until December, uh, I was getting chemical pills all the time. Like it just cost a fortune, like, but it is worth it. So when I was getting the chemical pills, as I said, you're not allowed to have any uh, active acne before the microneedling. So I had to keep getting the chemical pills. Once all my acne cleared, then I started on the microneedling. Um, I would recommend this so much. Like my acne was so bad. I used to get it like not now kind of as much. When I first started getting acne, like it was all over my whole chest up here, my back everywhere. I remember uh, this video. I will include it. Like my whole face. I actually had lumps on my face and lumps on my chest and my back. I was so self-conscious, people don't realise that they don't have acne, like they think oh it's only a few spots you're grand, like stop moaning about it, but like you're not really confident in yourself going around, like I do hate leaving the house, sometimes I don't make up on, like now I'm kind of starting to like, like the skin I'm actually in, like I'm trying my best to, and I try my best not to wear makeup as much, being a makeup artist I feel like I should be always wearing makeup constantly when I'm doing people's makeup all the time like that, because I want to feel nice, but does literally it's not worth to constantly wearing the makeup because it just makes your skin so much worse like i do take reactions and all if i take my makeup off it wipes my whole skin flares up everything like that so that's why i can only ever use the therapy products i literally swear by them and um, if i was used i would get definitely the products i will show you now my basically my skincare routine of what i do morning and night i use all environ this is god sent like oh my god i use this taking makeup off the minute i wake up in the morning for my time anything like that it just makes your skin feel so fresh it's like um a little gel and uh, you literally just pull it into your hands small little bit rub it and it comes out foamy and then you just clean your whole face with it so then with the toner and um, you just put that on a little cotton pad a few i think like three or four squirts and just put it all over your face if you do have a spot and you have to be picking at it or if it's opened it will sting but that's okay it's normal it's just killing the bacteria now and then i mix two products together these do sting when they're on but uh, then i go straight in my moisturizer amazing like now you don't use this when you're going to bed so basically everything i'm after showing you there you use morning so when I get up in the morning straight away, I start off with the wash, then the toner, then the oils, and then the moisturizer. But when you're going to bed, you only use the wash, the toner, and the oils. You don't use the moisturizer. It's like an SPF, but she recommends not to use it when you're going to bed, because you're not going to be out in the sun or anything like that. This is amazing. It has your skin so smooth when you put it on, and it gives it a glowy effect for your skin. I literally love it so much. I do always just apply it now sometimes if I even put my makeup. Then I'm gonna go in with the Skin Acumax. These are little tablets. Four of them tablets today. No, I'm a bleeding. I'm a nuisance. I never take them. I do always forget. But she says, what's the point of working on the outside with constantly so many treatments and facials if you're not gonna help the insides of your body? Whereas taking them tablets will help. And of course, obviously I'm not gonna be getting treatments on my back, on my chest. So the tablets help me acne on my back and my chest. So that is my skincare routine. Now they are quite expensive from therapy. Um, you can, um, I think get a package. I'm not too sure. I think you can get that exact package. 
it's the clarity one um i know that is basically for acne but as i said go over and just get a consultation done you won't know yourself like if you go over there and you're like oh my god no i don't want to get this you don't have to the consultation's free but you have to go over and you have to try and and basically they're going to just recommend to you what they think is the best now i know therapy is actually closed at the moment due to the virus like i didn't think anyone would be actually interested in acne video I was like, I'm so self-conscious about it, but when realistically, there is young girls out there who like, don't do makeup, who can't really cover, who are suffering and want to, for it to be gone. Whereas like, even young boys, but even older people as well, they want to go on. So like, I've had so many messages about my acne, and especially that I suffer with acne, and they can see. Like, that's why I, mean, I stopped doing videos for so long as well, because of my acne, because I was so self-conscious with it. I was like, oh my God, no, I can't show that off. My skin is too red, it's too lumpy, it's too marked, everything like that. But like, everyone suffers nowadays. Like, people do have acne, it's a normal thing. That's everything about my acne, like, there's not really much to talk about now. My skin is clear, but like I'm actually, like I still have some kind of spots. But sure, the makeup covers it. Like I remember when um, I made my skin was so so bad. I put makeup on, and when I actually look back on photos, I was like, oh my god, I actually had lumps, spots coming out. It does actually get you depressed. Like seriously, I know. Like me and myself, I sometimes don't even like leaving the house because of my acne and people do be like oh cop on now my acne isn't even as bad as the way some people's acne is but i'd be looking at videos of young boys and girls or even older people and the whole skin is just covered and i'm literally like to myself megan stop it you haven't got it as bad as them like just be positive about it i think once you keep being positive that you're gonna have clear skin <laughs> fingers crossed you will have it like just put her out into the universe that you will have clear skin and hopefully I'll come back and I'll even give you a clear skin but I'm looking at people and I'm like oh my god I feel so sorry like because I can only know what they're going through especially like the way I'm going through and my acne wasn't even really really bad like it wasn't severe the stage I was just like I need to go on something I need a quick fix basically but it's not a quick fix with acne it does take time there is a pro process I'm going through this now for only two years basically because my skin was bad then it cleared up and then now it came back bad out of the blue you don't feel like people are looking at you judging you thinking oh, they're dirty like they have spots on and I'm the one who's actually going spending a fortune to get my skin clear when there's people out there who don't even wash themselves nearly and they have unreal skin I'm just like how how is that possible oh and before I forget as well there is a mask you can buy in therapy it's the exact same as all the products basically it is a clarity one as well and um, the girl fiona recommended me to use it every single night now it doesn't tell you to use it every single night on the packaging but she recommended me to use it every single night and on the packaging it says 10 minutes but she said not use it for 20 minutes i don't have it at the moment now i'm all out so i will have to get it when therapy is back open but i would recommend to get it obviously don't go if you don't have the money don't go and buy the acumax and the mask it's not really you don't really kind of need a need it more focus on the face wash the toner and the oils if you can like i just find it is the best thing ever for acne i literally swear by it i can't wash my face without it if you have any other questions on acne or anything got to do with my skincare routine or anything you'd just like to know in general about acne just pop me a message on instagram or even leave a comment below and i hope this was useful to some people i've had a lot of messages requesting this so i just thought oh you know what fuck it i'm doing it but i hope everyone basically learned something from it and thanks very much for watching I'm gonna just do a voiceover just to show you. So this was when I was in therapy when I first started and my acne cleared. Then this was in the summertime when my acne all came back. These are just photos that I take each month just so I can look back and see the difference in my skin. This photo now was actually in the summertime when it all started to spread up my whole face. And then this photo now was actually only in January when I was coming out with therapy and getting treatments done.